We're back. Hopefully it worked. I'm alive. Look at me go. I feel pretty sick though. I'm gonna get some water. Alright, we're still alive, that's good. That's surprisingly hype. Oh shit, dude, is Cosmos finally back? Dude, is it, this, this whole tournament was just fucked. Smash Factor was such a weird tournament. So, so people who do not know, in Mexico, the only major they have, at least that I know of, Smash Factor. I think it happens like once a year around this time, around the summer. Summer in Mexico, it is hot. And I'm not just talking about the temperature. I'm talking about that gameplay, of course. Duh. We have a lot of big upsets. Um, we have a lot of people hating on Light again, which is pretty cool. I think he deserves it. Um, maybe not a lot of people, just one guy I saw on Twitter. But I think that's a lot of people. I think one guy disliking me would hurt my feelings enough to make me cry. So that's a lot. And uh, unfortunately, we have MKLeo losing to yet again another random Steve. Woo! And I love, of course, I, uh, I love critiquing Leo. You know, there's nothing better than punching up. Leo should really p pick up Cloud for Steve. Maybe, it's probably not a bad idea. Is Manny really random? I have never heard of this guy until like yesterday. So, random. Save the water, save the game, and they're underwater right now. <laughs> it's uh, Manny's been on an absolute tear. Three, two victory over Mutage to make it in here. And MK Leo, he got farmed in top eight. It happens. It happens to the best of us, dude. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be random to get farmed in top eight. Whatever's going on there would piss me off. Started right now. Save the water, save the game, as Leo has to fight. Steve to make it into top eight, but Manny on the other side is looking to make the Ooh, run of a clean little down air. Okay, like absolutely as electric so far. All right. Very, very reactive, very fluid game plan. No pun intended with all the water. <laughs> but he's been playing Steve's just one of those characters where, like, you have to figure out the Steve player's specific bad habits in order to beat them, and even then, it's still very hard to do. Cause like even though he has this 132% lead and he's playing extremely solid right now, doesn't matter. Cause if you make like one miscalculation, you could get comboed to kill percent or gimped. We've seen a lot of Steve zero to deaths. You have to like if you want to beat like Steve players like on your first try, you really have to just like know what their whole spiel is before the game even starts. And even then. If they decide to mix up like a key part of their game plan, it could just it could just fall apart. You see what I mean? Like this this is like a typical Joker game right now. Like this what I'm watching right now is super typical late meta Joker, where people are so good at surviving nowadays and just like avoiding moves that would kill them specifically that like Leo just did like a hundred like seventy to this dude. 
like unanswered, 170% unanswered, and now he's like about to lose the stock first. Several many down tilts. And what's scary too is like there's still room for improvement with the character too. Moving on. The weird thing is Leo has fought and beat Manny before this. I believe it, yeah. Yeah, rising down there like that, okay. He died pretty goddamn early. Storms with the five gifted, I appreciate it, man. I hope the job search continues going well. That's really the only thing I know that's going on in your life, so I'm sorry if I keep mentioning it and it looks weird. I am alive, yes, and I'm going to do a full week of streaming if I don't continue to feel sick. Leo is playing the matchup decently and he'd just get hit by some random shit and lose for it. I'll be the judge of that. Right now he's trading a lot, which is kind of hard to avoid against Steve because his hitboxes are so egregious. And like, you have to be extremely precise to whiff punish with Joker, so that's going to just be the hard part. Wow, what in the fuck? That was really smart actually. Was that even a true punish? Wait. They actually could have air dodged. Regardless, should have died, did die anyway. This is a top eight qualifier, that's insane. So this Manny, he actually also beat Le uh, Mute. Just crazy. Because Mute. Last time I watched him fight a cola. He like kind of walked the dog on him. Like it was not close. And then he lost to Manny. Apparently, me was like feeling sick at some point, but whatever. Versus the buzz after this, in my personal opinion. <laughs> go ahead and cancel. Dude, I hate that video so much. Cancel me. Go ahead. That's just my opinion. He almost just died again. Where I don't even know where Critical Mass was. I know I was invited to it, but I'm, I was busy the weekend. I saw many hates blocks. He doesn't use them for other than mining walls. Huh? I mean, Steve's tools outside of just pressing the B button are still insanely strong. Jeez, man, that is so much stuff covered. And I don't think Sour Spot 4 Dare should do that, even if it is diamond. I don't know. That killed no questions asked. Gluto somehow managed to lose to two characters that are cringe in completely opposite ways. I know he lost to Capitan Cito. I don't know who he lost to in Losers. That bear haunts me. Bert, that was Ford Air. Yeah, that was Ford Air. Mute lost to DK. <laughs> DKW, let's go. Andres? Oh, yeah. Was it Ken or was it... He plays another one, right? Does he play Terry or Ken? I'm surprised. I thought he forms every European player. What happened? Thank you for the full RZ. Oh, old Gree on that up smash. Probably just a nice little double jump up here. I don't even know if it would have killed them. Could have done a footstool out of shield down there. there. A little Gree from McLeo. We're gonna we're gonna need a better answer to TNT, man. But Manny is actually doing what I think a lot of good Steve players are missing, and that's just like running up and fucking forwarding people because like everyone's afraid of like getting walked out by jab, and their short hop caught by like walk around up tilt. So he just you know he does the third layer of mind games, and then he just you can add more redstone. What the hell? And he just does jump up forward air. He's like, all right. More mind games. 
Oh, I'm so scared of Arsen. I'm just a little baby hiding under the cover from a scary monster hiding in the closet. Eh. Arsen's broken, bro. I'd camp that shit too. What the heck? If I had Steve Block, I would use it against Arsen. This is insane. I hate that. Okay, so like realistically, like what are, what are the options here, right? So the wall goes down, the double layer wall, right? I feel like it's safe to back air if it's two layers of wall, like um, then this is just purely assumption. I don't think a Steve Ford smash can reach you if you're trying to back air the, the wall like this, like Leo did. I don't think he can really get punished for that. But now when it looks like that, back airing it is a complete risk. Same with F-tilting it too. And like, he's pretty fun. He's, you know, I've seen some suspicious Minecraft Steve gameplay. This man is suspiciously close to this wall and might be ready to forward smash it. So I wouldn't really mess with that personally. <laughs> and he gets forward smashed anyway, so the correct answer here. What, what is it? Is it just bait? I think at this point, you see how close he is to the wall? I would... <sighs> I would, I would do one of two things if I wanted to force the interaction here. I think if you do short hop down air with Joker, you can actually get over two block high walls. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Even if not, you can still full hop over it and it's fine. It's not that much more of a commitment than short hopping just because Joker's a fast faller like that. Or I would just wait because he's already got diamond and the like scariest thing that you can get met with is if he tries to like if he like jumps up over here and does like minecart over it so if he just like stood still like right here okay well, i didn't know he was rising when i paused this but if he stood still like right here probably be a better thing to do i jump over it and go far left and gun but that's just my opinion that's not a bad idea either. That would work like a handful of times. Like I feel like if you want to fight Steve, you have to mix up your answer to block very often. Because if you try to cycle between like one to two answers for dealing with the mine like the, the mining wall, they can just just do some like like they can do something that probably like avoids both. You know what I mean? Like you you have to have at least like a handful of options for dealing with block if you want to stand a chance against the character. So like breaking the wall is one, short hopping over it, jumping far and like using a projectile over here or something like that. Um, just jumping in front of the wall, kind of like baiting them to forward smash it. You, you just, you need to keep your options like, like you need to keep them guessing. It's like, it's neutral, except the longer it takes, the more you lose. that so the side b hits the minecart here and he got like nicked by it so it's still doing the residual damage but he because it didn't like put him in hits or anything he just, he just won out that entire scenario i think mashy steve is like super scary especially when you're fighting like when you're playing as joker joker kind of thrives on conditioning his opponent to shield and if you're just like not giving a damn about shielding and just mashing and it's a good thing to do the correct answer for dealing with like manny's kind of like game plan as joker is to probably just like do a lot of gun and i mean a lot of gun i wouldn't be doing many landing aerials next to him i wouldn't be doing down airs with arsen i feel like that's just like a very bad idea I wouldn't throw out any risky down Bs. I would just play it slow. If he wants to mash, 
you may. Preference, they give us 51 months. Gun inside me if they're not shielding Loki. Both are probably a good idea, yeah. That, see, this is a good answer for, all right. He, he had a really good answer for wall there, because, like, look. Not, not, don't look at that. That's bad. But, like, setting up this down gun, the only way Steve gets, like, the upper hand here is, like, jumping all the way to the side and then, like, meeting you in the air. But he would have to pre-fire that, and you can react. So this is probably the best thing he can do. The reason this wall is, like, bad is because it blocks him off from, like, using the platform of the roof. So, like... I, I would just be spamming down gun the whole time. If he tries to jump up and hit you, he gets shot. If he puts shield up, then you just land on this platform and just keep down gunning. Just just don't stop down gunning. See, like, there was nothing stopping him from just doing that again. Leo loves narrowing and it scares me when he plays Steve's and Kazuya's. Yeah, I don't like that move versus those characters either. Oh, you got your air dodge caught. Only 44. Dude, that like I think that up tilt would have killed. I think he could do like an up tilt nil up smash or something along those lines. Forty or one there? That just seems so mm, not bad. But didn't really get punished hard for it. Side B is a little too risky. I don't I don't understand the vision for side B there. Is he trying to cover landing? He probably expect. Actually, you know what? No, I I understand. He had no resources, so if Manny tried mining, he would have gotten Yihad. But Manny made the good choice of approaching at that moment. Like like uh, where is it? Like right here. This this is a disengage right here. We're back in neutral at this point. Saleo frame one realizing we're back in a neutral. He tries to rip the side B, but I guess you could just full hop forward air over it. Oh my god. Dude, that that was a good parry, but he played against Joker in a you know ever since like twenty eighteen or whenever this fucker came out, you know not to do that. <laughs> Leo be ignoring risk reward sometimes, I can't lie. Sometimes. I, I, I don't think it's, like, a bad idea to get risky in those, like, situations because people are, like, focusing on playing, like, really solid and doing quick options when they're in scrambles like that. So, like, he only got punished with a jab when he realistically should have lost with a fucking forward smash. He should have gotten forward smash, but he only got jab. Some characters can get away with swinging big and like last hit scrambles. Oh, he tried to do the wobble. Do the wobble. He really tried doing that to Leo. Has Leo ever been hit by that? The back throw forward smash? Great. Conditioned it, the ledge trump. Baited it, punished it. Okay, stop with that. Thank you. Oh, down air. He was trying to cash out. He wanted the, he wanted the rest of this Arsen to get put to use. One more side B for the good times. You're, you're on max range. What's the worst that can happen? I, I would prefer using gun here more than side B because if you hit the, you can hit the startup of minecart with gun and it'll spend the resources and cancel the minecart. So I, I actually prefer gun a lot more than side B in this matchup. And also, like, if you're doing short hop gun, can I, like, can I use this as a... I don't know. Hypothetically, I know this isn't possible in this situation, but if you're doing, like, jump gun here in neutral, and, like, he jumps over your gun and, like, mine carts, you can just react with gun dash. You can gun dash in, and you won't have any lag. And 
You know, again, like he used the resource and you didn't get hit. Like that's a W. Maybe my eyes were deceiving me yesterday and Leo wins this set. Maybe, dude. Oh, wow. I like that answer. Why did he drop Violet in this matchup? I don't, I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. I think he just wants to play Joker. Yeah, I feel like that never works. I, I feel like as soon as he got hit and he didn't mash out, like immediately that's just check, a checkmate. Oh man. What the fuck did he shield for? What? He just gave up damage. I want him to go back to Byleth, man. Byleth's just hard to play. But like, I feel like, yeah, if, if Leo like plays someone like this, who probably doesn't really know the matchup, and you know, is is down with the scrap? Probably just play the buy off, man. I feel like I feel like a top player, like the ideal top player. Maybe this isn't true. Yeah, I'm just gonna whatever. Top player should have two characters, and I think Leo should have like one character that he can just play against like any like mid to high level player and just beat. You know, I feel like Joker is more susceptible. To like losing to people that are worse than him if that makes sense just because he's like such a technically demanding character but like if you just play Byleth and you're just better than your opponent you will just win whereas with Joker there's a lot more room for error Byleth low-key easy bro not, yes yeah that is what I said This is dude playing Super Mario. What is he doing? What, Leo? What are you? That was awful. Dude, just get out of there. Like, if Steve is like chasing me like this, I'm out. That's time he's spending not putting down a wall <laughs> and not mining. I'm out. Bro, get out there and back air him. No up air. Oh my god. I feel like you have our set in this situation. You just get out there and back air, man. Just, just like short hop here, and see what happens. You can on reaction back air minecart with Arsene in at worst trade. Like this was really good. He still played it correctly, but he did the wrong follow up out of the down air, and now he's gonna lose the game. This is fine. Play it slow. Get out. Get out. Leave. Depart. Run. <laughs> That was good. Very greedy from Leo. I, I just, I don't, I, I, I don't care. Like, I wouldn't scramble there. I would just get out. I would disengage. I'm at 113. He has diamond. I've been at kill percent, man. Like, I hate how Leo be trying to fight in these situations, man. Just run. Yeah, I know. Like, you're, you're trying, you're trying to play one of the most technically demanding and precise characters in the game right it's already hard to account for like you know your opponent's like fall speed and like 
trying to get like openings and like only hitting your combo started and stuff. That stuff is already really hard to do. And then Steve just introduces a fucking jungle gym to you and is like, okay, you must now hit four air one, but on extreme Dante must die difficulty, hell in hell, some other difficulty, 56 heat, like, <laughs> it's just not doable, man, just get out of there. This is the winners. Leo, I mean, as good as he's as he's been playing in that neutral game, and even in these situations where Manny's in the corner, Manny is winning. The Joker needs mid range. He kind of does with gun and like dash attack. I feel like he's fine with mid range. Like side B is good. Risk of war. He just fights in these situations where he's usually a better player. Like where he usually better player normal characters. Yeah. I'm just. I'm not scrambling with Steve. I, you can't convince me to do so. Why did he just? Why are we taunting? In the first talk here, I mean, you got a, a lot of resources burned there. Very smart for Manny. You want obviously a lot of. Is he mentally checked out right now? Is he bored? I mean, I get it, Leo. But lock in, brother. I'm surprised that. He could footstool this? Let me say it again? Or am I just bugging out? Oh no, that was very footstoolable, holy. Yeah, this is this is this is Leo playing tilted. The, one of the rare occurrences. Wait a second. This up B I hate when it lags like this. Did this up B interact with the anvil? Oh no, it shot past it, okay. I think Byleth, Corn, to play for him. I don't. I don't know. I would rather him play like Joker Aegis or like jo Joker Byleth. He could play three characters. He's very good. I think what he needs to do is just like play whatever character he'll have the most fun with. Because if he doesn't like, I, Leo probably fucking loves playing Joker against like, you know, like I, I don't know most characters. But then there's like those few characters where risk reward isn't real, and it looks like this. And at that point, man, just just play Byleth, turn your brain off, pretend Smash isn't real, and we haven't been playing for the last five years. I love his Violet bro, get Joker out of here. The uh, the magic is gone for the Violet man. I don't think he's enjoying Violet that much anymore either. It's about my spectating enjoyment. Yeah. That happened like three times. I feel like there's a very clear flaw here. Damn, that's a lot of people not cheering. I'm sure that feels good for him, though. I don't have my audio on. Maybe are, maybe people are cheering. <laughs> Go ahead and cancel me. <laughs> I don't care. 
That was the most cringe pop-off I've ever seen. I think it was good. I, don't know. I think it was fine. I don't think it was cringe. I, I think you're just hating to hate. I've been there, man. Leviathan versus the Buzz next. Oh my god, bro. Where is it? Where do I find this fucking VOD before you... Uh, yeah, versus Leviathan X. The Buzz always has a setup. It, it's not. It's not here, man. You're wrong. Send me. Send me the vod on Discord. Oh, you probably already did. Is that what my notifications are? What other sets are I planning to watch? Probably just a handful of them. I will event. Oh my god! I, I I guess I will watch Grands, but why is it an hour and fifteen minutes? Oh no! I have been warned about Shiny Mark's playstyle. I knew it was cringe, but holy fuck! That's new. Most of that's post game stuff. Okay. Okay, let me see. Um, we gotta have Cosmo stop losing a gag. I feel like that shouldn't be happening. Let's fucking go Cosmos. Can we talk about it? And I do want to watch the Leo Zamba one. I'm so glad that Cosmos has been doing well recently. The VOD. I'll watch it after this. That shield grab sucked ass. Cosmos has been getting dunked on. He's been the butt of the joke for like the entirety of a year. So glad he's just been doing it. Like the delayed back air to shield, a little so bit of patience. It comes to whichever has the more opportunities to edge guard the other. Mithra Ford air is OD! Scoop the fuck out of him. I hate how often Cosmos gets away with that goddamn up B. <laughs> he kept grinding and playing multiverses, and now look at him. Cosmos says, see me in multiverses, kid. And then he started playing like it was multiverses. Do you ever try telling me this matchup is even? I don't know what the matchup is, I'm gonna be honest. I'm assuming he just wins. I think that character is broken. Good use of the switch. 
that he knew he was waiting for an offer, but instead he got the back air and was wise enough to ask for James. Spargo says this is Cloud's worst matchup. His worst matchup over Sheik? Really? Let me see if I can spot anything that makes it look really, really bad. He hasn't really gotten gimped yet. It doesn't really seem like he's been close to getting gimped. I can spot it. It's called dash attack. I don't know, man. If this is Cloud's worst matchup, why wouldn't he just like play the ditto? I don't know. I think Spargo should play Aegis. I don't understand the non-believerness of Aegis. This dude said Junior is Cloud's worst matchup. Get a load of this guy. I think he would win the ditto. I think the last time they played the ditto, I'm pretty sure Cosmos won. I don't really remember that. Okay, this juggle looks pretty annoying if you don't have time to set up a down air. That's kind of just typical cloud shit though. Dude, the fact that you can up be out of shield nair, I feel like it can't be that bad. I don't know. What a brave grab, holy. I would expect a random dash tag at this point from Spargo. Good jab check. I like that. This is a really good time to jab. I like the choice of up air too, because like forward air would obviously kill here, and it's probably the more convenient hitbox to go for. Yep, it goes the farthest, most likely to hit at this point. But up air, right? Up air would set up for like any cross ups that Spargo would try to go for. Also, probably has like the least amount of lag for like most of her aerials. Which means that this jab, if he was trying to dash attack or try to call out like a dash back or anything, I think this was just well played from Cosmos. Nice shirt, Cosmos. Very cool, Cosmos. Very cool. Fair up B. Nope. Okay. That seems pretty good. Uh, Ariel's out of shield, just denying any sort of pressure. Jump too close, you get swatted. That's why I don't like playing Cosmos with Zero Suit, because he does that really, really well. If I try to like pressure with aerials, he's usually on top of that. I think that's like, if Cosmos like had a thing that set him apart from other players is that he, he's very good at dealing with like aerial pressure. It's a very weirdly niche thing to be good at, but hey man, I'm a zero suit player and the only thing that I got is aerial pressure. Also, love to see Spargo of all people fucking up that edge guard because I would have done the same thing. Very greedy. Okay, 
Okay, the, yep, this is looking bad. Yep. Well done. It said so it's like dropping an edge guard on Aegis. I also feel like it's pretty easy to fuck up here. I don't know. I don't know why he didn't just hit him. Dude, I think FD was a fucking terrible choice, Fargo. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is this is ass. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Oh wow. He got through that? What is happening right there? I, I hear I can hear a little <laughs> He just ran up and grabbed his shit. Good for there. Most players without access to their double jump here would probably just land with a nair. But he intentionally drifted to the left in forward air. That was really good. <laughs> okay, maybe Aegis is Cloud's worst matchup. That looked pretty bad. Okay. I am never taking Cosmos to FD. He is the FD goat. Remember when Leo said Aegis is the best? Yeah, and then he talked to Spargo, and now it's like... Yeah, dude, I don't think this character's like top ten. That four air seemed a little poorly spaced, no? That shit's just greedy, man. Very greedy so far. Good bait with a dash tech. Vibe check with the jab. It's really hard to dash tag and then dash tag again, true. Jump got caught. Oh, down beat a little too early. Okay, man, really? That was so good, but I'm pretty sure that if the switch was just a bit, like, later, like a frame later, he could have avoided that entirely. That's definitely true right here. And Spargo has a really good lead, 52%. Yeah, I, okay. That footstool was so good. Or, or rather, the footstool deny from Cosmos. He had to be there. Kind of the saving grace right now for him, for Spargo. So I know this goes game five, which is crazy, because if Spargo didn't pick FD there, he probably would have won the set. Nothing quite like seeing a move connect an ultimate and then the person still spot dodges after. You mean the person who like did the move? I don't know what you mean. Like Cloud hits you with Warder and then spot dodges. Oh, Leo 1. Okay. So, Leo 1 on the other stream, 
I think that was why, why the people were cheering over there. And now we're going to town and city Cosmo. Yeah. He hit bear and it connected and then he spot dodged. Ultimate baby. He tried to footstool him again. It's so greedy. Dude, why did Spargo look confused? That that's been a thing. There's really not much you can do. Really, twenty nine percent. I've never used it. I'm too goaded. On the number one seed came number four. Spargo going that up smash out of nowhere, hoping to catch Cosmos off guard. Dude, this is just a bakery. You mad rolls. I actually don't think that. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Oh, he missed the flash. That was really clever, actually. He Why are you going for play of the game, dude? Just recover. <laughs> Fuck, are you doing? Starts moving a little bit Actually, what are you doing? Reaching the last side of the stage. So yeah, but a really good train of thought by Cosmos. Uh, He's going for play of the game on support. That was a really good recovery right there too by Spargo, opting for up and holding down so he can leave a hitbox there just in case Cosmos tries to opt for that down tilt into F smash. Like he won that last stock. This is where things can get a little bit cheesy for Cosmos right there because. Uh, playing with uh, one stock advantage over Spargo is something, but playing onto the same stock and only a little bit of percentage advantage can get really. These F tilts really barely not connecting is what's kind of costing Cosmos a lot right now. Uh, this character's a lot slower. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, this is really scary. Stop going for like such weird reads. What an amazing reaction. That was actually a really, really good position because he covered the three options. Oh, the one that he didn't cover was the get up attack, but he could uh, he could have immediately reacted with that up B. He covered neutral get up roll and jump. But four options were covered with that position with the up B on hand. Wow, that was so so smart coming up from the part. Yes, it was, and I'm not gonna lie, like. Cloud is one of the best leg strappers in the game, especially when he's holding limit. Like in Smash 4, I, I would say he was the best at the ledge with limit. Oh, yeah. not looking good. These back here, greedy. These guys are both so playing like insanely greedy. I hate it. The angle, the way that back here is, it just spells trouble. I played. We're at 118 percent. Spark has a significant lead. All right, kill him. I mean, to make this back. and I mean, even though uh, Cosmos is on, on the verge of losing, so I guess people probably. Uh, so uh, what I'm assuming is people think this is a super bad matchup for, for Cloud, just because like most of Cloud's neutrals kind of just like mashing aerials until something works out. He just has a good enough dash attack to uh, circumvent that. That panic jump, because that was definitely I just want to get away from here jump. Yes, it was. It's a, such a scary place to be when you're in the corner like that. When you're in the corner versus Fargo versus Cloud, and he's back here. What can he do? It's safe on shield. So he knew. He's like, he's gonna jump here. He has to jump. He has to jump. I mean, the other thing that maybe Cosmos could have done was trying to. She's just to too fast for Cloud to set up any wall. Four sides. Four sides. Yeah, that's true. He could have four sides. I still feel like. Cloud's approach like, options are like fine, I don't know. Or walling options, like I don't know. He doesn't like what I'm saying is he doesn't really need to set up the wall. I think he's fine as an approach character too. And there we go. Town and city, thirty-two percent. Let's see if Cosmos has what it takes. I don't know. Now, I'll take your words for it. I'm sure it's a bad matchup. lead, and now it's back to even game number five. That's true. And not only that, this is game five, and you could just tell that Spargo is just. Unfazed when it comes to being down to all his his mental is just absolutely incredible. So wise parry, very about, wise they parry. Have to congratulate because being down 2 0 versus like an Aegis, that's a scary thing. Oh, he wanted that roll. 
he wanted that roll. He thought he was shooting, but that was actually a, a really good option. Both players are just really looking for something to start up, whether a near or a forward air, try to put their opponent off stage, because that's really where they get their mileage from, both characters. Look, right there. Caught him with the jump up here right before he can back here again. And we're going to see this first of all. Ooh, no cross up. Right there. Denied. Caught him with the Very jump good. up here right before he can back here again. And we're going to see this first of Pirate up tilt. Nice curvage from Sparta's jump with Pirate's upper. With, I mean, up tilt. The 80% only for Cosmos Spark. This is where he can get the most damage. The sweet conversion. With the back air right there connected yeah, I hate that confirmed so much because you're like, oh, you upbeat. I should be able to punish you. We were so close to each other in the air, but it's like no lag on the upbeat. 40% already with the first part of trying to escape from the pressure. 97% are we going to see a switch to Parda or is it going to keep playing with Mithra right now? I'm not going to lie. I feel like he should just stay with Mithra as long as possible, even though he can like steal a stock away. I think it's better to just get this this percent lead as much as you can and just start slowly chipping away not just that Spargo's percent but at oh my God, the spike. wow oh that was a weird choice that raw f smash right there also came to a platform i thought we were gonna get another spike i'm surprised he even wants to go pirate i'll be honest down air what players want this so punished so bad that that spike was with with a little bit of, of so good to he's just shield there. He's like, Damn, man, I, I I like the grab was the predictable option in this situation. So bad. That, that but right, I think here. And he just dashed and shielded. That was really good. I feel like he could have gotten a true punish there, but he just went for whatever the fuck that was on the fly, and it worked out really well. Yeesh. Mash down, BW. Let's go. Once again, oh, what a nice wow, what a simple way to get the kill. I feel like every set that I've seen Spargo lose, like every time he gets upset, he gets killed in like this exact scenario where Spargo is just, he just wants to jump to center stage or just away from his opponent. Like he just doesn't want to deal with ledge. And like, like when I watch him fight her, it's, he does that so much. He just tries to jump over him. But you can't just, you can't just not engage. I don't know. Same thank you for the seven months. I appreciate it. Any other prime gamers in the chat want to sub for free? But he gets punished immediately by Cosmos. Oper, this is possibly last stop for Spargo on the winner's side. Let's see if Cosmos has what it takes to pull the trigger and manage to win over the seed number one this early in the bracket. As you can tell right now, Spargo is just letting oh, the up smash fly. He wants to take the stock. If that missed, he probably would have just lost right then and there. He's gonna get ran over, but the blade beam! Wow! Wow. I'm okay with that. Like, if I'm Cosmos, I'm like, oh, you burned limit wow. to do that word. Getting crazy right now. They're cheering for him. That was, that was incredible. That was, that wasn't critical right there. But if Spargo could have punished Roll, better, spot, dodge, right side B. Could have been a lot of damage for, for Cosmos. It's the game right of all time. Dude, that, dude, the, the sword was completely still when this forward right smash now. connected. Also, shout outs to the American Air Dodge. Look, dude, he's clean through the sword. Is it because he landed on the next frame? Yeah. Three oh, percent, he gets the no jump. There's no jump. He but has limit. Limit. Oh, 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 he's looking oh, for the down air. He tried to kill him. Holy. Oh, he's looking oh, for the down air. Oh my god, this is so intense. Oh, we're gonna Bro, what? what? I don't. Can you up B that oh my God, with Pyra? It's, it's so intense. Oh, we're gonna Bro, up what? What? No panic. So much up going on oh, right not the Pyra now. grabs it high percent. The worst timing. He's been looking for it. <laughs> no text, bro. He's been looking for it. And Cosmos gets it over Spargo. That's wow. You saw that angle. Oh my god! What? That was so good! That That's what I'm freaking talking about, Kazumosa. Right. Oh my god, I can't believe it! What was that? Love to see it. Lax, thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate it, man. Alright, guys, we're taking a break from watching Smash Factor because 
Dude, you're playing Cloud and you want me to watch? I don't want to fucking watch Cloud. Characters, but I don't know, going up against the Buzz, who's also a master of a lot of characters. This you think I want to watch Cloud? Right, right. We saw them in I just here. watched Cloud. Going to go with the Rosalina. There's definitely like some in-depth methodology behind the character selection. You're getting turbo farmed. Right now. Should be another back air. Oh my so goodness. Clean zero to death. Just about 15 seconds in. And that is exactly what the Leviathan fans were not looking to, you know. Was this in Connecticut? Like I said, that confidence is so very key and that is a There's one ZSS game defense. total and it's in set two. Yeah, if it's anything, mm. if it's any character that's Hey Lax, thank you for the gift. It's been two iterations of Cloud at this point, especially with uh, you know the home girl Rose. Melrose? I don't even know who the fuck that is. I'm already seeing a sore lack of grabs and slow baggers. He's just done run up shield like a handful of times at this point. Honestly, really good stabilization. Only has taken 32% on the second stock. We have some limit to work with, but once again, that Nair coming down and just ruining Leviathan's plan. Yeah, it's not like winning cross flash there, kind of getting beat out. It's very fast, but there are just a few frames where the buzz seems to have capitalized. Okay, <clears throat> my analysis is that you should land next to him and read the roll, and you should grab more. Because if you just land next to him, he'll probably roll in fear of grab. There you go. You're the best cloud ever. <clears throat> Watch the ZSS game at least. Oh my god, bro. I, don't want to... I hate Zero Suit. You almost won that game? Very cool. He doesn't know about the swap. Yeah, I start throwing out Blade Beam. That Luma was almost dead. Did you pick this stage? Oh my god, this is Rose's like best stage. <laughs> And you didn't go kill the Luma. Okay. It is a good tool in this matchup. So many hitboxes. It's kind of hurt the Luma a substantial amount. But if you can catch Rosalina throwing out a move that's slightly committal, zero suit's fast enough to kind of sneak. I wish he would try to air to air me like this. What the fuck? Or something along these lines. And then if you can bring that. He knows I'm uncontestable in the air. Maximum, it's a lovely time for zero suit. Yeah, this is a different team coming out for game three. Obviously with the character switch. But I think with the momentum as well, I feel like we're very used to seeing. You should just throw outside, be a neutral to hit the Luma. No cap. Unpunishable. The, the extra hit lag from the uh, from hitting Luma makes side be unpunishable if you max base it. I can't believe you played Zero Suit. I thought you said you were done with this shit. Oh, there it is. Ye old side B. Zero grabs. Forward tilt, though. Not what you want to throw out. Getting carried into the up smash. Really good pickup for the buzz. Looking confident. Looking like this may just be. You know, doing what you Thank you, Forward Air. <laughs> There's the side B. <laughs> still, though, I mean, so, when you start side B, he usually starts side B, which means it's time to Zare again. Or just full hop over the Luma and back air him. I, I actually hate edge guarding Rosa. I think it's really fucking hard. Honestly, I think the best way to deal with Rosa ledge trapping is just jump over all of it and go to the other side of the stage. I'm not even kidding. Well, that was embarrassing. Well, that was embarrassing from him.
Honestly, when you hit that side B here, <coughs> just dash attack, just sacrifice your body, just run into that shit and just dash attack Luma. You can uh, you can down tilt vibe check in this matchup too. Go under rising forward air, and you have time to shield in air. Like instead of F tilt, you can down tilt. Nice. This is peak zero suit. Picking the right option three times in a row for a cumulative, let's see, 24. And we end at 61. Okay. About 40 ish damage. Okay. Most characters would kill you with that many uh, guesses, correct? You know, but whatever. Put you at 90. That works. I hate that. I don't understand Luma's like AI at all. I don't know why Luma does that. I guess two up tilts, sure, but. Starbits are putting in so overtime. Space, not only just like above the platform with Rosalina Ariel, but has been doing so well with uh, Luma underneath too. So I feel like you're not taking <laughs> four hair one reverse four hair. I've been there. I mean, Leviathan has hit kind of tricky here, but uh, it's a matter of okay. is it a little Next. bit too late? Finds the up smash though. We're going to last stock. What do you think, Leviathan's? Priority? Dude, this is one nair flip kick away. Okay. <laughs> a flip kick that won't spike, by the way. Oh, I, I did run up up smash and loss there, 100%. Or barely lived. Respectable Not grab. Oh, go this is kill him time. I get ready to down here the ledge. I know he's gonna hang for too long. No, drops air. Drops air, doubles air. This chase is super good. I saw that you tried to drop through the platform and up air, but uh, game's ass. I knew that shit was coming like yesterday. Can you find the straight hit? The side special getting Luma off the stage. This set can absolutely go on AG. So close here. It is I wonder if you could set up a reverse down air here and just checkmate him. Kind of uh, depends on how low he goes. Because I know this up air was baited. No, because he can ride the stage. It's not safe. Okay, I love the side special. The dash tag was so ambitious from the buzz. The throw won't do it. Back off stage. That was his air. And what will it be? Will it be? But you gotta you gotta tuck in under the stage here. Because this was really good. 
off stage, going for it you all. just grab, and then you start immediately drop off ledge and hold left. And then you can either up beyond reaction or just, uh, uh, it's probably dead, right? That's so stupid. It was actually a pretty good zero suit game, all things considered. I should have did the gambit. I read a lot of things against him in the corner, was just too scared to pull the trigger. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> ah, yes, Rosalum is well known. Up throw kill. I thought it was down throw that killed, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's uh. Let's watch the worst grand finals ever. I need a snack. I can't do this raw. Shiny Mark had a crazy run. Who, did, who all did he beat? He he beat. Uh, did he have to play? No, Leo lost to Spargo. He, everyone. He beat literally everybody. I want to see him get pissed off. No. I don't know why I'm pausing. I'm, I'm wasting precious frames. But also, Shiny Mark, you gotta know his Pikachu combos is starting the offensive immediately. So, and this, this man didn't skip a beat whatsoever. We've been seeing him deliver time and time again, and this one will not fail. Zero a muerte, padrino. Oh, tasty la cochina. The disgusting stuff from it over here by Shiny Mark. Really means two times speed over here on honestly City. let's see what he, right now the drag down okay this is gonna be very dangerous oh at least do 1.5 no, drop down but shiny mark is playing very dangerous right now he feels sharp he feels with hatch balls this is honestly let's comical this is under this way no this door hop double i can i can still process the information i see one more spot ah he didn't wait long enough but the idea was there yeah definitely so i mean there were some evil evil ideas going on in shiny mark's mind he's still pushing his advantage off stage we've seen it done time and time again the awareness oh my goodness shiny mark's angle to make sure to survive it here is where shiny can also make it what's the hot key for changing the speed twilight thief thank you for the, the gifted from side to side all this stage still alive 540 percent still let's just watch set two only oh good point finally not this is a great advantage for shiny mark but the forward smash is gonna All right. The first set took about 30 minutes. I think they just both iced each other out, right? Both of them taking a <sighs> Themselves, but they know what's on the line. Not just the money, the pride, the ranking, the self-satisfaction of being the winner and hoisting that trophy above your head in front of this crowd of what's got to be a thousand. Point two five is what I need. I don't know, man. But here we go. Our grand finals for Smash Factory. We got Shiny Mark, the best Pikachu in the world as of right now, for sure, not close. And Sonic's the. Uh, Wow. You know him. I, you should know Sonic. Shiny, he's Guatemalan, right? Shiny Mark. 
catching over there with the quick attack. He is not going to allow that ledge and the advantage is big right now. So, uh, Shiny Mark only landing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know anybody from Guatemala. And of course, this is going to be the dose. No! He's able to stay out there. A little bit of a drop over there by Static, but it doesn't matter. He's picking it up. Is this the first time and once again that those in like Smash Factor's history that Grand Finals didn't have a Mexican player in it? I'm kind of curious. Hold on. This is the first time. Huh. That's pretty cool. The number of entrants keeps going up too for Smash Factor. That's pretty neat. And now the skill situation, but Sonic's finding a way to do it, and not only that, but takes that even further and continues to rack on. Not stock taken, I was about to say, but Sonic's changes that in a minute. Wow. So to my understanding, Sonic's 3 0 the first set, right? <laughs> so, there has to be some pretty big adjustments to make if you're getting 3 stock game 1 as well. Smart to wait for the second one. Down smash, numero 2. Going to the other side, yeah, finally. The right side was the door, no! It was a trap! Oh, he won 3 1? Okay. But I'm wondering, like, he's get it's like not close right now. So, like, what changes? It would be the first one that we see in, in between these two guys. I mean, they are. Oh, we're actually just buying mad time, okay. Right? They always go down to the wire, and it feels like this time around Sonic's completely. That's scooped? Scoops? Must have pressed something. But uh, we will see it. And, huh? and of course, Shady Mark able to EI out of there. He was ready for that. I have never seen that. Have these guys played offline before? Probably. Well, actually, I don't know. Shiny Mark doesn't really go to a lot. Right. I don't know if he ei out or if he just hit the wall and that kind of broke him out of there. But either way, I mean, just falling into the forward air. A little off station heading it. Clearly, he has to cheese him if he wants to win this. Alright, game one going to Sonic. Mark's gonna go as winner. Four in a finale video in a hot minute. And, uh, well, that has got us hard to. Uh, Surprising amount of people watching a No Mexico Grand Finals. This game is uh, all about uh, that mental thing that we were talking about earlier, especially in a matchup such as this and with contenders. I mean, know each other so, so well. A fresh start, though, for Shiny Mark. One game is not quite out of hand for him to still make it. Back into a small battlefield. Let's see Shiny Mark starting more stronger this time. Now These neutral getups are getting scout head right now. Holy. Sonic is so good. Just I can see that being an issue later on. Able to land anything. And the shiny mark we, were, we really just didn't believe in Pikachu for, like, the longest time. Also, can we talk about who in the world Sonic is grabbing right now? Getting dragged down. Oh, he's bringing also the down air. Now the advantage is for the Pikachu main. Marcus, Marcus this is looking like an entirely different shiny mark already. This <coughs> got the jitters out once more, and well, he came here to play. Yeah, it wasn't that little break that put him back to earth. It was actually losing game one. Oh, he yeah. was getting slapped in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a steep price to pay, but we'll take it. Wow, falling off the platform and not getting caught by the drag down neutral air that could have been huge for shiny mark. Now Sonic's with another chance. Imagine feeling all the I think Sonic is taking a lot of damage by fishing for reversals. But is still in the territory in which Shiny Mark could capitalize the first for sure. What is the confirm going to be? Not even a confirm, just a wrong option. Why is he not spin dashing that much? What am I missing here? Is there something I don't know about this matchup? He's got an angel watching out for him because he somehow managed to survive all of that. Now he Sam refused to abandon his morals in camp. T Jolt, I assume. Yeah, but it's like fine. You could still just jump over it with the spin dash or just side B and then shield it. Spin charge is better. I, I, for, I don't know what the fucking difference is. The side B one is better in that case. I'm surprised that killed. 
That's what Shiny Mark needed, that's the reward that's what he's working for all this first time. Missing the wave land on the platform, but not getting punished for it. Ooh, it'll be great there for Shiny Mark. Damn. Oh, start oh. The wave land on the platform, but not getting punished for it. Nair just Ooh, beat be Spin Dash? What the hell? Oh. Start a loop. No. Zero is not in the building. It's gotta be pretty situational for it to work like that. Oh my god, and the platform KC is gonna miss there for Sonic Scoop. What a creative angle there from Shiny Mark to not only mix back in the stage, but even start his offensive once again. Sonic, oh, he's not gonna over it again, but he was patiently waiting for his opportunity to confirm that classic Nair into the back. Oh, he's in again, running and grabbing Sonic. Cannot be ready for those, for those grabs. The small... What a chase! It's a fantastic man, like he's really... He's unable to capitalize right now. Shiny Mark needs a big hit to take this stuff. This will be fantastic. He tried to ledge cancel it. Oh, we are running the clock. Oh, Holy. To the right side. He's made Sonic second guess how to cover that path back to the stage. So many times. That said, he catches on. Maybe a forward smash is coming his way next time. Look okay. at start to the feed. I Not thought... I thought... Sorry to cut you off, Max. I thought for a second that Virgil was gonna come into play there. What a weird matchup. Things a, a little bit more for... For Sonic, but he manages to make it back into the land. Like I feel like oh, the we really shouldn't like be that scared of T Jolt that we're not spin dashing, but I guess Shiny Mark is like kinda corner camping here. Like if you're gonna streak for it, side switch. Like that that move has such great uh frame frame uh data that just you just have to do it uh, Damn, uh, caught his ass dashing. The dash attack is gonna take the stock. Shiny Mark up now with a comfortable advantage, but he has to work this out. Because Sonic can't take him out <gasps> in a flash. And, and look at this. Shiny Mark didn't even try to punish him. He knew that uh -oh. Sonic had time to go for the Not the loops. Again, and he is just staying committed to go for that second. My man's is camping. Sonic He's down a stock. You know the vibes. Sonic's not gonna Wait a minute. That's not right. Up. That okay. A little bit of a preemptive hit of being thrown out. Those quick aerials from Pikachu are starting to make their place. And the damage continues to be racked up. Very fortunate for Sonic, able to bust his way out of that lightning loop. Okay, F tilt for the up B. Huge in terms of minimizing the damage, we could have seen Shining Mark also set up into an edge guard off of that. Now he's got another. I find that like oh so most of the time when I see Sonic's absolutely destroying somebody, he's hitting like a lot of up airs and converting like insane damage out of it. It's not really happening against Shiny Mark right now. Like on top of it just being kind of hard to hit Pikachu in general, he's like purposefully staying grounded. Or if he is doing like aerials, he's also doing them like rising too. So stuff like Nair will just stuff out the the run up up air, for example. No, he went for a risk, unable to get it. That could have been his mask confirmed earlier on, but Shine Mark still works. A really good team goal. Also, somebody asked earlier, like, why is Shiny Mark going for like a lot of ledge jumps? Because like, let's let's use this as an example. If you know that that is a fact that Shiny Mark is like setting up like a lot of ledge trumps, it forces you to pick an option, or else you just get ledge trumped and punished for it. So you're like conditioned to immediately pick an option, and if somebody knows the timing of what you're going to do, it, it makes it pretty easy to cover multiple options at once. So like we're right here, like he buffered a neutral getup, and I don't know what Shiny Mark was trying to read. Maybe he just mistimed this down air because it's supposed to cover neutral getup. This down air should have killed. That rising there. Yeah, it would catch probably like neutral getup and maybe jump getup. And also roll. He probably has enough time to cover roll as well. But he just has to time it perfectly. There we go. No divine intervention this time. We're going to see Shiny Mark <laughs> put himself on the board in his second uh, second set. Oh, that's great. That's great, too. Shiny Mark, he's so focused right now. Let's see. Are we going to see a change? We have we have the diplomacy tap. Right <laughs> the only situation where that wouldn't work is against a character like Palutena or like Zero Suit, where like if you hold left while getting ledge trumped, or if you just hold towards the stage while getting ledge trumped, kind of just doesn't really matter. You just like you don't end up in a situation where you can really get hit. You just end up on stage first once you get ledge jumped. The whole weekend spoiled the swing match of this set right now. Who's gonna have counter pick advantage in the case of a game five? Who's gonna have momentum on their side? And man, you can't help but think that both these guys want it so badly. Maybe for slightly different reasons. Again, it's shiny mark for potential first major win. And Sonic breaking that second place streak would be so good for him. 
Oh man, yes. when you put it like that, it feels so heavy, so hard for these two players. And we are going to the Cathedral of Mash. We are, of course, at the Cow's Bucket Link. Ooh, the huge damage. Down there. I like it. Stylish stuff. They will, they will have a lot more space here to run and chase each other. But it's Sonic, the one who is bringing the offense first. Yeah, so I know part of the frustrations so for this matchup is the fact that Pikachu can, like, go under the stage and, like, burn a lot of time off the clock. Kalos kind of eliminates that, but Kalos also, like, is the biggest stage ever and has the biggest blast zone ever. So it's also a camper's paradise. So this... Honestly, I don't think Pikachu's really got a bad stage looking at it like that. How did he die? I looked away. He alleged jumped down here again. Of warriors, and let's see, going down. No, close. Oh no, he just missed the tech on that down here. Pretty easy tech though. Very well timed. Most characters don't really have a way to contest Sonic's like cheat options uh, for getting off of ledge. Pika does. I mean, every single time I see this man tweet something, it's like a lab clip. Like he is always on the lab, just such a hard worker as well, and it is. It may finally be paying up, and with such a lead after that missed tech from Sonics, I mean, we could be seeing. Their I like that little jab check there from yeah, Sonics. Low commitment stuff. As well. really, the nickel and dime game. Yeah, I didn't know you could go that deep for Sonic. What the heck? That's something that's a hallmark I guess if you up B high, you run the risk of getting hit by down B. Like, neither of them are really making any, like, crazy plays. They're just hitting the right hits and aiming them in the right spots. It really is just... This is as fast as two campy players can really go. Jeez. That's another thing that is also really good for the stage for Pikachu, is that he can do the T-jolts on the wall and it can help him get off of ledge. Jeez, that's a lot of damage for getting hit by down tilt. These down airs have been got to start watching them or something. Step aside, Sam. There's a new best Pikachu in town. Could have gone for a jab lock. Probably just tried covering multiple options with F tilt. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like jab would have just been better. Hindsight 2020, though. <clears throat> He's still on all of his stocks. Shouldn't have done a jump tech. Both of them. What a place for it. That's gonna be enough. It doesn't matter the size of the of the place. And look at that. The Lord. The Lord is being called for shiny. Didn't Esam say this is Pika's best stage? Uh, probably. I, I think it's Pika's best stage. Not expect something like that, but Shiny Mark at damn near one o'clock in the morning, still delivering. My god, he is not missing a beat here. Both of these guys have been stoic on camera. I mean, after their W's have their stressful sets. If anyone gets this this win, I, I don't know. Are we gonna see a Come on. <laughs> this was an S tier, right? Down in the set, but not so a lot of good players going. One more time, or has Shiny Marks at a page in the beginning of the final? Is the download complete? Hello, high level. We are gonna fight on the edge of tomorrow, guys. Oh. This is it. Shiny Mark with a pro controller? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I gotta 
I'm breaking my microwave if I ever play this guy. S plus? Oh shit. Good thing we save our jumps out here. He tried a new stage like one time and he just got fucked for it. Oh, what? Dude, I just watched Spin Dash just beat T Joel. What? Can he stop getting down here? Can we can we figure that out? I love this that Shiny Mark, even though he knows that uh that Spike is going to react, still ready for the next couple of options. Both of these guys have just shown extremely pristine uh, not only positions but knowledge of one another's uh, options. I love the juke with the quick attack as well. Like Sam out, out here, holy and Owen wants to get away as well. Definitely <gasps> the best he could do at using that move. And really just the best Pikachu of all time. Sorry, e Sam. This guy is on top now. What's wrong with pro controllers? They're susceptible to like interference. It's pretty greedy. I understand wanting the lead. Honestly, I don't think it was a bad four-year to go for. Able to survive all of that. 150%. This is so close. Neck to neck, tooth and nail. These two are battling all the way out. I don't see a lot of homing attack from Sonics. Like I look when I watch him fight like light or something, like whenever he's trying to like get out of disadvantage or get out of a juggle, he uses like homing attack like sometimes very infrequently. Obviously it's if it if the homing attack doesn't work out he gets just he dies for it. But it, you know nice little vibe check homing attacks pretty good now and again. He's just not going for it. Is he dead? Okay. Next one definitely kills him. With all that rage. I think if he loses the rage, I don't think he'll die to it. Nice, good reaction. Dude, look how far away he's like holding shield. <laughs> I mean, I get it, Sonic is fast. Nice catch. I'm surprised. Hold on. Can he not just like react to where Sonic is? Okay, like, yeah, here is when you would pick a direction to go. Okay, so Sonic is just fast enough to like get there, not make it a mix up. Yeah, this is the Sonic combos that I'm used to seeing from him. Those up airs. Nice. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That is a man that is sick of Pikachu going under the stage. It's pretty scary, though, if you lose your jump down there. I wonder if Shiny Mark could have gone for, like, a stock trade. Honestly, he definitely could have. But it's kind of a bad idea when you're even on stocks like that. But if you just did back air here, would he even stock trade? Because he has his jump. Honestly, Shiny Mark probably could have just done falling back air here. And it would have traded with a uh, jump out of the... Because uh, he jumped out of the spin dash here. Right? And if he back aired, it might have traded. And probably would have killed Sonics. Even if he had a jump. Unless Sonics was like ready with a homing attack or something. That's one of those things where probably nobody knows the correct thing to do in that situation because you've, you've probably been in that situation close to zero times. They do it like six times. Oh, so, so I'm the best Pikachu in the world is what you're saying. I don't think I would have down aired. I probably would have just back aired. Start licking the air when I play Smash to see if that levels up my gameplay. He's oxygenating. He's stealing more of the air from Sonic's. How, can, how do you contest this? Scare dodge. No fun. No punish. Get a bit more damage going on. Oh, the overextension for a second. I thought he was going to pay dearly with it, but Sonic's not in a position to punish. My god. I'm not 
finding uh, how to words to say here as well. I may just have to resort to Spanish. He got he got stayed so untouched. No damage has fallen for him in almost one minute, and Shiny Mark has been able to bring it back. The percentage is on his side. The numbers are falling for his name. Oh. What a spot touch over the solid road. Damn, what a paper grab. That was a good read. Be a bad situation for Shiny Mark. How he's gonna come back? Nice catch. Wow. So ready. So prepared. He knows him so well. An incredible pivot grab and an even better back air. Bring Shiny Mark to his last stock. He said, hey man, if you want to win this tournament, I'm not gonna make it easy. The spin dash didn't beat the T jolt that time. What the heck? This is his win back. He no caladas. That was indeed it. But his son is. Oh, it is time. To spin. How do we get that? Oh, because it was short hop T jolt. That's why he got punished. Where are the up smashes? Where are the. I have been feeling them all night, but Shiny Mark has not been bringing them. 149%. Watch it. Good reaction from Sonic. He's camping efficiently. With the forward there, with the up, with the up throw, so many options, but Sonic have become now immaculate. Not being. I like the way Shiny Mark's like tracking him. Hold on, gentlemen. Like he jumps where he's gonna jump with the spin dash. He runs to like whichever side his spin dash is like facing. That's a big opening, takes another 50 or 60 damage, that is certainly in play for him. Shiny Mark crucially avoiding invincibility right there, as that could have been the free percentage that Sonic's needed to perhaps start to run away, and oh, he's gonna find a confirm already at 52, that hurts so, so much. Shiny Mark gonna have to go on the hunt, but the prey is gonna remain extremely elusive. We've seen what he can do off one neutral air or one mm -hmm. up tilt, oh no, 70. I believe that platform wasn't there, the T-Jolt probably would have hit the spin dash. Oh, no. Yes, looking, Mark. Oh my God, the offers, and as you are Ooh. seeing, each one of these is not bringing him close to death. He's bringing him close to time over. He's out of there. He does not want to interact. The loops are there because you can deliver a lot of damage, but Sonic has been such a master. Damn, what? Matching the out of it. Wow. Dude, Spinach is just good. Why is he not just spamming this all the time? Look, he's just going through the thing. I don't know if that's like luck dependent or what, but. Maybe you can intentionally time it for when the T-Jolt goes up and around. But still. These thunders are so scary. He could do okay. He's probably knew that he couldn't have died to thunder here. Actually, I don't know. I think sweet spot thunder might kill here. Like I'm honestly surprised he got hit by the sour spot. Like the cloud hitbox is like pretty generous. Surprised that didn't just spike and kill him. Really, the only threat he's got one more though. It's over. We're going to a fifth game here. Sonic versus Shiny Mark, set two, game five. It all comes down to this, folks. <clears throat> Shiny Mark decides to stay there. I'm sure. Uh, oh. Band, uh, the sour spot for yeah, Pikachu yeah. now be set up. We're gonna see that yeah. any longer. Yeah. yeah. Not again. I think it's a mistake that was exploited. Wow. Guys, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. And once again, timeouts can be extremely tight. When it's a good fight the whole way through, nice, patient gameplay, and it comes down to the last few seconds. But there's a mad pace for that final hit. Some of the best match is played in those moments. This is how the counter went in winners, by the way. Game number five, Shiny Mark coming out of top that time. Can Sonics change his fate? Get his revenge once again. That has been the question for it. Shiny Mark gonna get his first big title here at S Factor 11. Shiny Mark didn't make the music uh, counterfeit. Big mistake if you ask me. <laughs> Tournaments have been decided on that after, after <laughs> the skill players. I am not joking. Hey man, this song is a banger. I think everyone can appreciate it regardless of their main. But of course, it has a different effect on a Sonic player. Ooh, the not the combo drop. Gonna work out right there for Sonic. That's a lot Wait, the spin dash is coming out. Right there. Shiny Mark almost getting some of his own off the reversals. Ooh. The platform 
He's like, he looks like he's already playing for timeout, and it's not even been 30 seconds. I love that. Trying to mark, bringing it back to Sexbook, just chasing the landing from Sonics. He's going to get an even bigger Two combo. This, and he tries to get a little too cheeky with it. It's Sonics trying to even fix out oh, the angle, looking quite dangerous, but everything was measured there. Shiny Mark has not given up just yet. Oh my god, the forward tilt. Let's see. Staying alive right oh. here. Going the land degrees great from Sonic. Oh, come on. Sonic does a really good job of guessing which side Shiny Mark's gonna go to. But also, like, come on, hit those near bears, man. That is that is very important. He's missed a couple like confirms. By the way, I've started to notice Shiny Mark is really favoring the left side when it comes to that understage mix up. Sonics is noticing that as well. That time actually picking up a ledge trap could be key for the future of this game. Yeah, dude, he's called him out quite a few times already, but not getting to punish all of them. So crucial, as you Back pointed out, Max, that finally he is getting some percent from it, some damage going, and not only in oh, the He was already down there with him. Some percent from it, some damage going, and not only in the percent, but also probably didn't expect to wise, perhaps, have this a workout. The last game that we will see from S-Factor. You are completely right. Let's see the dash Ooh. attack. Just straight up Stop beat the jab. Positioning on the stage. You are, you are in control. What's Shiny going to do? Going for the downer. Sonic just nice. Wow. Schmicks up. He's getting better player. You are in trouble. The homing attack is not going to lay up. Oh, everything is... Uh, people want Shiny to change with this. They are really applying... Oh, we are well listening. <clears throat> crowd going for both places. Sonic's in. Shiny Mark getting... Getting chance on right now. Oh my god, dude. Like, he's tracking him perfectly, but there's like a lack of confidence with the option select here. Because look how he's just following him for both of those rolls. And he just like. He, he must have like specifically wanted back air, which is why it didn't work out. Also, that's crazy that like, look how close this T Jolt was. Look at this, dude. I don't know how this T Jolt just doesn't hit him. It's a weird hitbox. It was LG's very own Sonic. At last, Max. So smart from Sonic to just skip past the ledge to backwards up B. That's a trick you always have to be looking out for from these Sonic players. All right, Shiny Mark finding the Thunder Jolt into forward tilt. Nothing too crazy. Still needs to land a kill move, and that can be so tough as he's seen throughout the set. Oh, the agree. Oh, no, Dominican influence, maybe. <laughs> it's indeed. It's happening right here. You could. We're gonna. You could snap ledge if you up be that low with Sonic. Or rather that high. We're gonna need that to I didn't know that. I feel like I should have. But I feel like situations like similar to this where like Shiny Mark's kind of just running forward at him. I feel like now would be a pretty good time to just be like, oh! Homing tech! Got him! Oh. Ant-Man taking the control, running away, trying to edge him out, and the great going for the upper, and oh, now man. the Sonic Sonic Dude, if you ask me who wins this right now, I'd say Sonic's not close. Oh, shit. Miscalculation. Is Pika down air at ledge that safe? Yeah, it's really good. It's super active, so if you try to, like, contest it, you might just run into it and die. Oh, this is a big conversion. No platforms to help him. And now he's winning. He actually got one one Pikachu combo, and now he's winning. I wonder if the better thing to do there would have been to DI towards platforms so that he could try to SDI up and get above a platform. Because honestly, if, like, that... Yeah, that, that combo basically made Shiny Mark win this. He was looking for Shiny Mark. Could have had a leak right there, but still working on the percent. Sakurai, you are, you are a very, very, Interesting. very ex <laughs> demanding god. And Shiny Mark has been qualified. Oh my god, Watch the shield. Like oh my god, Sonic could be very well breaking that, but he's going to pressure him off stage. One more. Oh my god, the No up there? That is crazy. Holy shit. This whole interaction was insane. Let me see. He gets hit, text, double jump back airs. That was sick. Kind of surprised I killed. Oh, 
One more for Shiny Mark, and he's taking home his first major here at S Factor 11. A Damn. Yep, we're playing for time. That was, a, that was not a good dash attack. <laughs> not good. Shiny Mark, those combos, they don't even need to be that long to sweep. Tutorini spread the issue right now about to go for some panic mode. I cannot lie to you guys. This is. Bro, let oh, it rip, man. Oh, oh where the hell go? Dios mío, carajo, lo que estamos viendo ahorita se están pasando de las de esos dos panic. Panic, so. How do you find that? Yeah, I look at chat and socks just get taken. Oh, he read the jump. That's good. That was scary. That was his only option onto the stage. I thought Sonics was about to SD. Probably trying to catch a upbeat to the stage. A little bit of the clock with all these understage stalls. Also playing with the ah! if he misses one quick attack, he could lose the tournament Hurt by SD. Yeah, that could be it. I mean, Sonic, Sonic is not Sonic is not really a prone character to play SDs, but Shiny Mark's gonna have to keep his wither about with himself with crazy execution. That does make Damn. it all the more impressive. That's a lot of T jolts, man. One minute left. Fresh stonks. The heck? Where's he going? Dude, every little hit is like cataclysmic here. Oh, that's a good read. Dude, that combo on the second sock must sting it hell hard right now. Pikachu is insanely strong. No grab? The no grab could have netted him more damage, but. Oh, dude, another dropped combo. That could have sent him off stage. No grab? I would never roll. You would never catch me rolling there. Shiny Mark wins S Factor 11 by timeout against the timeout king himself. Sonic so close but couldn't finish the job. And look at this man falling to his knees, weeping. A beautiful Very well done. in Guatemala. His Honestly, a lot of throws from Sonics. Like, I think Shiny Mark played pretty well. Played very solidly. Didn't really do anything outstanding. That combo was like definitely extremely important for winning that set. The one that he did on that second stock, the one that did like 70% and just gave him the lead for the rest of the game. Pikachu busted, exactly. But Sonic's definitely kind of donated a little bit. He like dropped, he just dropped some important confirms. I don't know. How come we don't do watch parties for majors no more? Like, well, this one ended at three. I'm usually just like doing something, but. Or like having friends over. I'm gonna try doing them more because it's not like I hate doing them. Sonic second place again. Yeah, every big major he's just gotten second place. Is that the first super major won by a Pika? Um, Isam won that one glitch. I don't know if that was a super major though. That was just a major. What's the difference nowadays, anyway, huh? Did I watch Leo versus Omba already? No, I have not. I could throw that on. Or we could watch Zangi versus Abel. Think about it.
I don't know this is on stream. I bet it was a Ford smash that killed him. I mean, I feel like if you're if you're Minecraft Steve, then slowing down the pace to your level is exactly what you want. We're gonna see the the back throw. That's okay. the first close handle grab we've seen the entire set from you. Oh, he went to the dash tag. Doesn't find it. The dash tag. That sucks. I hate dash tag. Zamba beat him uh, like the last two times they played. Taking us out over Leo and right now just been playing out of his mind the last few weeks, but so has Leo, right? Yeah, Looking yeah. like he's back in peak form for Smash Back. I don't know you can punish that. What the heck? Now, which historically has been his tournament, right? Not just in his country, but he's won almost every single one of these. And so seeing it here, even though he goes out Sheesh. the last zone, he has a chance. He just needs to clean a couple things up against Zamba. All right. Uh, as uh, I was talking to Oscar last night, it was like the first game is always like the down, like to see how we play, uh, and then the next matches are the serious one. So let's see how NK Leo does this in home first. Like this was personal for Leo. I'm pretty sure Leo was sick of losing the Zamba. Holy! It's a really good air dodge bait, pulling the jar like that. Tripping with down tilt is criminal. Dude, the most random moves just be tripping. I hate it. Pretty good from NK Leo, but 117% Tampa already having a great start. You know, people say he's a villain, and I, okay, I was saying earlier on is that I don't think, I think he's a villain right now, because he does not want NK Leo to get this win against him. And listen, right, this is literally about as much of a hero versus villain match as you get. Leo. No matter whether he was winning every tournament or now, has been the hero of Ultimate. Every never has there been a more like that late nair catch in that spot dodge was pretty good. Right. Can you tech it, trips? Right no. Now, it's been Zom the Zomba, so you can't even PM. I'm pretty sure. Could not be spot dodging like that against Joker, man. Trying to find it and looking for that left arm on back here, couldn't find it. Okay, the gyro, the neutral air, the gun dash, and even Leo pulling out all the tricks to try to get here and get the drag down past ledge. Super smart from him because it puts you in a tight situation. If it doesn't, but he beats Zamba's drift, says, "Okay, I can pull you off and then catch you below with the down smash." This is peak. What are these spot dodges from Zamba? He's kind of trolling with them. Lands with Nair and then spot dodges it in front of him. He's gotten Nair for it twice now. Joker so fast. It's like it's almost like a two mains. We're going right back to PS2 to find out, folks. Game number two, getting started. Can Zamba clean it up and close this one out? Game number two, the people here in Mexico. One Wait, did he do it a third time, Moss? I didn't actually see it a third time. I wasn't looking. Wants to continue to that top eight right now. Pretty good start once more from Zamba. Last game was an amazing start from Zamba, but still, MK Leo took it, and now MK Leo has our stand on, and that's when he's the goat. Right It'd be nice if you can tech trips. I think trips kind of suck. I love the poke. I love the pressure here. Coming out from Leo. Coming out from Zamba. This is a pile driver now. I think it's nice to like make things interesting sometimes, but the fact that it's just like, oh, on this random move, I actually get an additional follow-up now. GG's. 
Hell yeah. Yeah. Leo the chance he needs, and you've seen Leo time and time again. When you can't close out the stop, nobody gets more off of it than he does. I beat him. You were, we're gonna win that upright which was pretty good from Samba. And well, JK Leo not have the lead. I think he should know better than to uh, toss that gyro down, but he was never punished. To the left side and take that first stop from MK Leo. I like I like the drag down down smash attempts, but some. I don't mind trips being inconsistent. I think it can be kind of fun. With the empty land and now, I I don't know. Landing once again, he wants to get this kill ideally without our step. Aye aye aye. There they're not going to force for the four air double. Now he's going to get. He could have air dodged that other fair, but he did not. Gunner was that gyro. Gun into down smash is crazy. Why doesn't Zamba up B stall Arsen? You're normally better off just like hitting him. Also, like, up B has like a limited resource. If you like get punished while you're doing up B stall, like, say you use all your gas trying to stall, then, uh, when you get hit off stage, you, you could just die. It's definitely an option. Oh, jeez. He's getting toasted. Oh. Oh. How greedy can you be? Rob died at 90 and then died at zero. Retribution! Payment! For your cheese! Honestly, Leo's reaction? Same. Up smash, try to low profile up smash that shit. Probably could have killed him a little earlier with all that rage, but it's fine. Look at, look at, dude, look at, look at Leo's player cam. He's just, he's going with the motions, dude. It's hilarious. He's having a problem. Yo, we might need a second remix. We have I miss the old mango. Where's I miss the old Leo? Because right now he's back in full fashion. And again, it feels like he never left. This is the Joker that we remember pre-pandemic, right? This is the thing that terrorized every player's nightmare. And right now, I mean, that was such a wild. 
That's how you know Leo's feeling himself. For this little this little moment right here, he's like, yeah, you're a masher. You're getting air dodged. A little bit of a waste of Arsene there. That would have been nice. In, and instead, Zamba says, hey, now nah, I'm just going to stay here for a second. I'm going to reset. Because even though I'm a robot, I might need some stuff I do. Leo pressuring with the gun, just healing positioning under platform. But that's actually where Zamba wanted to pick up your landing. <laughs> Pretty bad dash tag. Could have just, like, nared in place or something. Could have just kept his stage control versus the uh, Arsene, not taking a risk. And you're already down. People are starting one more stock because the people want to see Leo continue in that factory 11. And by the looks of it, very dominant and Samba is just doesn't know what to do for a man who I, I said before the tournament I think this Leo's tournament to lose right now <laughs> okay he could have let go and did the hitbox but he just didn't also he could have got wobbled here too he could have gone for forward air one instead of a grab Backer just trades there. I mean, I guess Backer does start from the bottom, but dude, there's like no hit effect or anything. That's crazy. Is that the? I guess you can kind of see it. That's still crazy that that even hits. Got his payback. Love to see it. I'm gonna go peek, then we're gonna watch something else. Still don't know how that works. <laughs> but truthfully, I manifested this type of happen, and I, I'm so excited to be able to commentate this match with my boy, Z Slime. That's right. I mean, like we, I was saying a little bit earlier, this was like a faded match that people love to see. This is definitely a crowd pleaser, and the fact that they're playing for a top eight qualifier is so insane but we're jumping right into it these players have had enough waiting they've already shook their hands selected the stage and we're getting right into it cloud versus joker i can't believe that we get to get this set in 2024 the cloud versus joker <laughs> oh my god and leo is starting off extremely strong with some strong combos right there getting these up airs for extension that's right and now both of our characters are glowing blue as they both have their power up what is fargo going to be looking for for his limit because we already know that MK Leo is going to be trying to box him out, buying the time. But what in a fantastic extended F tilt from Fargo. Oh my wow. lord! Wow! Fargo with that down here. That was, that was a clutch down here right there. That was so clutch because we just saw like MK Leo really pushing Fargo's momentum. The extended F tilt put Leo just far enough where he needed to recover with his, uh, with his big brother. Very susceptible to getting to gifts like like we just saw. Yep, Arsene, even though he's so good and he helps with kill power and he does get a different recovery where he can go farther, it doesn't matter because you have that hitbox that can be hit. Once you grab the ledge, just put out a down here. You can even put out a down tilt and it will hit his up Very true, very true. But a couple of a couple of quick hits from MK Leo will just size up that first stock. He's just running out the timer on Arsene. Very smart from Fargo. It is. Now that he's trying to set up that, that limit, charging it up, taking his time, using back air to make sure that Leo can't get in. Because if Leo gets one grab, like right there, if he gets one right there, he's going to extend it with up air. Yeah, not even a like, grab is like very scary from, from MK Leo, but we also have to really respect and, you know, mention MK Leo's ability to use fair one. Mm, fair one is really good. Really good 
not only to start combos, but that's kill confirm as well. You get that drag down up air and you get a down smash or an up smash and you're done. Mm -hmm. Minute Cloud is here. As you can see, MK Leo pulling back, trying to use that good recovery from Joker. But at 126%, Fargo has a lot of options with the kill power. Not only that, he's about to get Arsen and things can change up. We can see a big difference in this match. Nice carry, but that up smash is going to take the stock. Right before Arsen came out too, that was huge for Spargo. Man, Spargo doing a great job with these upbeats out of field. Really great options. Has a good get off me. Mm -hmm. Speaking of get off me, how about you get over there next to the blast zone? MK Leo continue to apply the pressure on the Spargo. I love the I love the use of that. <laughs> hey guys, I think that Spargo will win this game. Yo, that move is so hype. <laughs> it is super strong, invincible, and it puts you in a really bad position, whether you're at kill percent or you're not. Yeah, I mean, just just like, it, it's very, it, Cloud has, like, how many different ways to come into that move, too? Oh, yeah. And it, like, applies 30% on top of that? That's very true. I also love just the usage of Spargo's back here. I, this entire weekend, every time I commentate a oh. match, Spargo, when he's back here, it looks like he should be up right there, but he gets the back here to hit, and it kills. Yeah, he is just... Tar, why is your phone always dying, bro? What are you doing? The landing is back here, especially, like, we know, like, Spargo likes to also use his toss-up back air to mix up his landing on your, on your kills. Yeah, but he also likes to use it very aggressive off-stage as well when he's trying to get his edge guard situation. We're just trying to put you in a comfortable situation. And... There, right I'm there, a genius. I figured it out. Swargo on. Wow. Wow. Incredible. I feel so sick. I feel like I'm about to fucking. Yuck. You know? You'll never guess what we're gonna watch, guys. You have no idea. There's no way for you to know what I'm going to watch. Literally impossible. Yeah, we're watching BP Smash Dudes. You figured it out. All right, it's the ultimate salt is real. Made by Styles, great YouTuber, great guy. Subscribe to him or die. That's it. Those are your only options. Normally these are pretty good, so we're just gonna get right into watching it, into the good stuff. Call out the, the staged clips because I know this is a home for staged clips. And even if they're sick, we're gonna call them sick because that's how we do out here. <clears throat> what in the world? It's like hard to believe that that happened intentionally like that that wasn't staged like that because that was a fucking insane clip Because all this is possible everything here is certainly a thing that could happen But I don't think most Kazi will afford air there. Baboosh. Oh no. Not not ice climbers. What the heck? Okay, that was kinda nice. <laughs> I don't see Big D doing that. Big D the worst ice climbers. You subscribe to him? Nope. Damn, these are all the worst Kazi has ever. Holy shit. Oh no. <coughs> Get funked. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mashing forward air looking ass. You gotta, like, like, listen, when this starts happening to you, when you get comboed for 10 seconds straight, don't. Don't let yourself 
Like you have to react. You have to think in every single situation, how would I end up dying here? And forward airing while Mewtwo is above you is certainly one of those ways. You have to start playing anti-clip and it doesn't matter. Okay. That's like a day one combo, dude. I've seen that shit before. Why is he DIing in on Arcfire? This poor cloud. Uh. <laughs> he just got the game, bro. Leave him alone. Oh, here we go. Ooh. The Boom House. Is, 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 like, what? Is he playing Fortnite? Is he playing Minecraft? Is he playing Smash? I don't know. Steve is insane. Am I really watching a final Smash combo? Is he dead? Yo, I'm so mad that even given the opportunity to be cool, you still just ended your combo with the up B that cheeses people at 20. <laughs> Me brawler players couldn't be cool literally if they tried. Oh, hell yeah. Poor Trom. I'm gonna start clipping my edge guards on a uh, uh, Krom. What, what did the egg just do there? Ah, air dodge in place, like all good eggs would do. I respect the Tipman combo though. I want to know what he's doing here. Like, I want to know how we let this happen. <laughs> Honestly, that's like a Sora sucks clip because, like, why didn't the up be finished? Got his ass. Holy. He was dead if that didn't connect. Oh, this is such a cool mod. I like. That's the. That's when he's. That's in the Min Min thing, right? The Min Min trailer? Oh, hot Luigi clip incoming. Wow. Oh, here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sick. Damn, DK fucking sucks. This is the same Ice Climbers from before. That is the worst tag ever. Not the crown. Not the crown. I've seen upbeat down here so many times. It's not cool anymore, guys. You're, you're playing against a bot. That guy sucked ass. He was just mashing. Based on like what happens in the clip, you can like pretty quickly tell like which ones are like like probably staged and like ones that like somebody hit something cool in the heat of the moment and they're like I'm I'm submitting this I'm nasty. Let me some cargo down throw. Got his ass. Stop mashing down B. Get punished. Shit. You jumped. <laughs> sure, man. The people was good. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to leave a like and possibly subscribe too. Doing so is free and it helps the channel go a long way. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys enjoy the next half. Come to the next Smash Factor, please. Maybe not opposed to it. Thank you for the 17 months, by the way. What are these effects? Those mods suck. That dude's edgy. 
Hell yeah, brother. Nice. I was expecting a Falcon Punch, but I ended up just killing him. Why doesn't Leo simply just infinite his opponent with down tilt up air? <laughs> down air, no drift. Hell yeah. Nice. Holy shit, he exploded. I have a hard time, like, sometimes, like, differentiating between, like, are you playing against someone who is extremely tilted and just letting you hit them with stuff because they're tilted, or is this actually staged? I 100% believe that happens. <laughs> He's just smashing. There's a forward air in the ladder combo. Did I miss something there? It's good option coverage. Dude, you can jab lock with DDD. How do you even set up a jab situation? Oh, down tilt, of course. He's getting clipped. Dude, what fucking character is this? Squirtle or is this Pikachu? Oh, hot Weege. It's a hot Weege. He implemented up airs into his combos. He must be different. Dude, who's playing with an over eight minute rule set? Whooper can learn thunder exactly. These edit the editing makes these videos feel longer than they actually are. Oh nice. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. This is good shit. Is this the best for Ninja NA? <laughs> Weird, that must have been a hero clip. <laughs> I'm looking. What the hell? Hold on. Got. This, this Samus, who is this Samus player trying to down air? I just want to talk. I just, is it Casper? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's basically just a turnip combo without the turnip. I've been mashed inside me. I know how this clip ends. What do what am I looking at? Tron Cloud? <laughs> Hell yeah. That goes hard. Wow. 
fucking A. DK doesn't deserve to be double dunked. He's my goat. It's Jorts Kazia. Except he's not wearing Jorts. Is this, this is... Honestly, right there is what the old level 9 CPU Kazuya would do to you, is this shit right here. Those are Jants? Oh, my fault. Wait, hold on a second. I have to read this. Never mind. I thought it was funnier. Oh, Zero Suit with the red effects. That was kind of lame. That's kind of simple. Yeah, if my opponent didn't have a jump, I would also do that. Hee <laughs> hee. My footstool? I guess that's, that's good enough. Wait, am I watching a fucking timer combo? That wasn't even a cool timer combo. I was hoping the Pichu died first. <laughs> Goodbye. Shot. Oh. I wish he actually hit him. Yeah, you get mashed down behind his son. Fuck it, we ball. I feel like I've been hit by that combo before, and honestly, I don't know what to do about it. Bell. Nice. Did you just focus? Okay. I respect it, because, like, whether you're on the receiving end of these combos or doing these combos, none of you are playing to win. I love it. Respect it. That's Bennett thing. That's old news. Neutral B, side B. That's like also like day one shit. People were doing that with Sora, like on week one, rather, when he came out. A boosh! <laughs> Let's go, Cave. Love Cave. What in the world is going on? What even? How, how did this even happen? You, you edged your limit so perfectly that you hit that. <laughs> how deprived must you be? Fun fact: they actually buffed Cloud's limit down B, his like limit, his finishing touch, to be one frame faster. So jab lock into finishing touch is a true combo now. Yeah, most of these are just toddler tests. I mean, that was just the Iggy not knowing how to recover. <laughs> the, the most multi-step skill check videos. ever. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to leave a like. And, and I hope you guys enjoy the next set. Oh, not the Wi-Fi doubles combos. Where you're running through your teammate while he's doing cross slash. <laughs> Boosh. I, I've always wanted to hit that combo, I'm not gonna lie. Damn. Dead. Extremely. Punch him again? Okay. I actually 100% believe that happened because if I was mashing down B during the middle of a combo, what just happened? Why do you get fucking. What? What is this power footstool? 
got him. Nice. I saw that on YouTube. I mean, on Twitter once, and I've been trying to hit it since. I've stopped going for it because I can't hit it. What percent was it? That'll help me. 15%? You are not mashing at all. A nice climbers combo. Cop! Dude, what are these hit sound effects? Exhilarating combo, extremely exciting, very hype. Who you for tilted, bub? Get spiked. I gotta say, the Ganon is truly a spectator during this entire combo. Equip Peru. Red team. I feel like the Ganon player should have contributed more to that combo. Oh, there, dude, peak, here we go. You're disrespectful. Who did that? Who shielded? Dr. Mario player, whatever you do after that doesn't matter because you didn't commit to the bit. Dude, I watched Double Cloud combos in Smash 4. That was cool, little side B1-2 in the footstool, I like that. Is this just like the doubles edition? Double Hadouks, man. All right, there we go. We're done. With, we're done with double. Sheesh. The no soccer ball. Holy. Oh my God, leaf it up smash is insane. Here it comes. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You gotta. You gotta play the NFL theme when he starts out being. Nice old, nice old dive kick after the fact. Hell yeah. Dude, where's my Mr. Saturn combos at, man? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Just changing physics at will. Boosh. I don't. I don't know if that's a thing, man. I don't think down throw footstool down air is a thing. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it tomorrow when I do my Iron Man's, and we'll see. Not like this, dude. I'll be into him, but of course. But of course. 
I thought it was just fire flower peach. Oh, he's god now. I 100% believe that one. <laughs> yes, more doubles combo. Oh, it's is it, I bet it's the same guy. Yeah, they're doing the same shit. They hit hard. They hit fast. Ooh, weak bear in the dare. That's pretty well set up. Very like the latest possible hit block. Nice. Still a mute brawler clip, so like minus points, but like good job. Get it, ten. Hold on, what? Ah, up here footstool. That was a pretty clean little drop down. Little drop down double jump up there so you get less height. I've seen this before, but it's so good. See the double jump ring? Kazuya players dropping their combos and calling it a clip. Very common. Very common Kazuya L. Kazuya player L. Look, I, I hit two grabs. Oh, nasty. Seen it. Just like, okay, like. Who are you forward smashing? Can I roll my eyes harder? Yeah, 10 minute timer. We out here playing 10 minutes. Rest. Easy. Pudding! It's hard to be impressed by Air Mac clips because like every Air Mac clip was just donated. That's all. player doing no air dodge like you see Lucario jump again you know air dodge right no air dodge no upbeat and then he upbeat straight up didn't even hold towards the stage he did it at the very very end he upbeat in place first and then went to the stage huge nuts maneuver to do that in the last stock <laughs> that one's actually believable <laughs> obviously Samus player mashing down be out of fit's done? More likely than you think. Oh, not the spring. Ugh. Hey, what's good, people? What's good? If your channel go a long way, I appreciate More your time. More me, brawler! Yes! Okay! Falling up there, okay, I like that. Suplex! It just ends up being anyway. Dude, it doesn't matter. It, like, me, brawler players. <laughs> Boo, get new content. You're just you're doing the same shit. It just ends up me every time. This video should have been called. I watch clips until a Mew Brawler ends a clip with FB. 
and it's one second long. Oh no, this is a good time. What is okay? That was kind of nasty, I like that. A little slow Hadoops. Laser beams! No, Paul's dead. Dead as shit. It's only cool when Peanut does it. Get out of here. That's fucked up. Also, Bando flipped out, so. I wasn't expecting much. Did you just do a tournament combo as your clip? What is he doing? <laughs> Dude, I hate this guy's clips because they all just end in a little, you're dead. <laughs> I did some Mickey Mouse hocus pocus stuff with that. Boop, ha ha, you're dead. Did we just stand it? Oh, wow. Cool. Don't tell me that's your closing clip. Cause that was trash. Okay, good. Okay. All right. I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on here. This guy sucks. That guy sucks. Why did Shiny Mark not do this? It's literally an infinite combo. What an idiot. I mean, some of the clips were good. I feel like a lot of them were like, not, you know, normally I find a lot of stage clips, but like I also found a lot of mid clips this time. So can't win them all, can you? I tend to enjoy myself despite not sounding like I do. I enjoy watching these, trust me. I'm not a hater, I promise, guys. Living in the city. Is Spargo Shattuck to close out the stream? Dude, I don't want to watch paint dry. I don't want to watch two sorties. I don't want to watch corn. Corn is so fucking boring. Card is insanely boring. It was a hot set. I'm sure it was, man. Let's watch Asimo lose to a random Kirby. I mean, yeah, Asimo okay. top eighteen for sure. So yeah. yeah. However, with someone like Goku in front of you, you get up perfect. Or oh, actually, is this the Kirby who randomly just does well? Goku and Kirby are gonna capitalize real well. Yeah. Oh no, that's the European one I'm thinking of. I don't know who this dude is. Has as a landing tool as a focus. Kirby having multi hits and Kirby also having the inhale to just cancel that all together can make it difficult for Osimo to land potentially. But we're gonna have to see right Poor now. Poor Osimo. Combo bar is Osimo. Yeah. That platform Ooh. makes it really hard. So 
I will say I saw like one clip of this dude play. He's got he's, he's got nasty Kirby. I, I really got to give it up. It's like four one on Meister lifetime. Damn son. He's just like that. I don't want to play this guy. I would have to time him out. I'm not interacting with this dude. Multi versus solo. Fuck that. Fuck that. True combo. Yeah, Plays weirdly fast for a Kirby. Every time I see Asimo play, I feel like he's just like absolutely thugging on somebody and it's not close. So to see him lose to like just a random bad character is awesome. Love to see that. I can't Kirby on principle. Dude, you have you, you yeah. Wow. It's not like Eminem. Well, you got frame data like that. I'm not interacting with you. Sorry, bud. Not doing it. Mars, you should expand your smash knowledge of players. No. This is my first time seeing this guy. I probably heard of him at that one, like, there was like a Mexican Invitational, right? And he was there. Still finding these hits, and we're potentially a drag down here at 91% from getting this box, catching the top like two, punishing accordingly, and another spot taken from Gilkyu. I mean, Osimo responded back accordingly, though. So I did watch Cosmos Gilkyu play, yeah. Have to, you know, uh -oh. really play this nice and nice and uh, nice and tight right here, getting the reverse up to it. Who did the uh, who did this Kirby lose to in winners? Uh, that was a key moment right there for Gilkyu. Gilkyu the best out of that, getting 63 out of a single interaction, now slowing it up using. He went. Oh yeah, he went game five with Spargo. That sounds familiar, actually. A generational choke versus Shadix. I mean, that's why Locky wants to see it. Using that move at top level is funny to me. Because it's, it's solid, actually. Like, it does what it has to do. Got caught slacking, lacking. I would also be pretty confused if I was playing Ryu and I nared somebody's shield, mashed down tilt, and they weren't blocking it. It takes a lot to keep cool under situations with so much stress, and he kept his cool. He missed those two edge guards. He did not miss a beat anyways. He went for that, got the backer, sealed the deal. He's one over Osmo. Yeah. Show up and show out for. <laughs> yeah, and like there's a lot of tools that Gil he was actually using, like very, very, like very specific things. You can play. Oh shit! I, mean, I accidentally yeah, restarted. Keep it right now. Four hit right. He dropped. And if it's on the ground. So like, you know, if uh -oh. Asimo decides to play the long range game, Yo, he could just slow profile those every single time and then slowly but surely start some approaches of his own. So these pairs have been giving Asimo a headache, some taking it all the way from side to side and now being able to take a break with that offer coming back into the stage, putting now Goku against the rose, but really low percentages yet, nothing crazy coming up. Asimo on the platform getting a little bit stuck, but finally able to get out of it, putting in the pressure once again. Those pairs being incredibly important, and once again, like we saw on the first game, those multi hits gonna be super clear to get out of that down beat. Yeah, that was unfortunate though because he got the final hit box yeah. of the drag down. Because I didn't want to follow it up. That's exactly what you wanted to look for go. earlier, and you can actually loop it over and over as well. Yeah. So, but you can't do it if you get the the last rounded hit box of it. So uh, a little bit AK's of a AK's been falling off. Not gonna so lie. So that's a he's had a pretty rough string of brackets. Right I mean, I don't I'd like know to see him continue to do well, but shit's hard, man. Who did AK even lose to? I think Ken would have been better here. Yeah, actually, I do.
so, Arsenal had the chance to really get value off the Lost to Andres and losers. Gagged to Andres. Okay, well, losing to Gagged is extremely understandable. Ness Snake is doo doo. Um, I forget. Okay, I always remember. Andres plays Ken or Terry or both. But who did he play in that matchup? Ken has all those same problems, but it has a worse fireball. Yeah, but fireball's fucking useless in this matchup because Kirby would just go under it. I would rather kill Kirby earlier with Shoryuken. Again, these are situations just like that. Again, just reading the recoveries and reading the jump aerials from Gyoju and Arsenal getting a ton of Terry. value off of that. Yeah. Having the first lead of, of any of the games for itself right now. Yeah, perfect. Oh, we played Ryu in that matchup. Barely mm. enough to get this dog once again with that downside from the middle of the stage, but be careful. Good I thought Ryu sure Shoryu was stronger. No, I don't think so. Gone for tennis wise, but here we go. Guy step first. Forward and unfortunately the down tool doesn't trip, so he can follow that up. Even if it's not, like, it kills the whole way through. If you get hit by any part of Ken's Shoryuken, you just explode. Whereas you need to hit the sweet spot with, uh, Ryu's. I don't know what's good with Gluta. I don't know. Like, isn't he still trying to do that new controller for his hands? I know he has hand issues, so I don't know if it's like what is it like what is going on with him. Trying to use pro GameCube controller? What is that? What the fuck is a pro GameCube controller? Wow, this is way. This looks way better than the Smash Tracker that I went to. The heck. It's a pro con with a GameCube controller plug-in. Sounds third party as heck. However, if Gyoju can find those drag down stairs, like how is that gonna help his hands? It's gonna kill a little bit earlier on Whatever. Yeah, definitely something that he might. Yeah, I went to I went to the first Ultimate Smash Factor. Start right here. Start is gonna go down here. Barely get that good stage, but now it's gonna be Asuma turn to Bruce come damage on the board. Here we go. Trying to get that downer once again, but the shield coming up right on time, allowing Asuma to get out. But we see that low profile is gonna be so important for him. Yeah, the only time he can't roll profile is in that first ring to an Esmond situation yeah. where he's forced to shield and that actually helps Asimo anyways. So he's looking to do just that in my situation. Uh, I guess I just don't know what you guys are talking about. To find to get some footing some damage. It needs to be closer in an unreactable range. Catches him with a down, but not enough to take this dog, but he didn't have any uh oh. Jesus, he's talking about a pro here. controller. Graham, that's his first warning though. Don't yeah. get don't, don't get, get it. comfortable in the lead. Yeah, don't get too comfortable. Hold on. Way. Which one is it? Not just talking about a pro controller, right? Or is it like some custom shit I can't just Google? Look up pro GCC. Fuck. What am I looking at? It's the same thing as a pro controller. No? Am I am I is there something I'm not seeing here? It's just okay, so just say I would just say he plays with a pro controller. Internally it's a GameCube controller. Okay. Okay. All right. Short man. I know you can notch your GameCube controller. I know people do that. Also, I'm gonna wrap up stream after this set. Right there, but Asimo still finding that down tilt confirmed into the top spot here. There, very, very great stuff right here. Can we find something? And not been able to capitalize on those headstars. No, Gilgu is trying. 
Gets the back air right there, reverse ledge trap situation. Actually works Notching for ultimate is so extra, but on a GameCube, or rather on a pro controller, I feel like it's more understandable. Like if you want it to reflect the GameCube controller more when you're using the stick. Anytime Ossipo gets a chance, you see that come out. The focus is essentially the landing, no air dodge. Understand the multi hits are there in order to stop the focus to call out the focus. Yeah. So far, he's not, not been able to land one of those, but it does seem like Asimo has not really needed those so far in this match. Here we go once again. Get rid of that. Cannot get oh, that. Damn, one. that once sucks. And ends up paying for that. Yeah, again, the very last hitbox, uh, if you get that one, yeah. you can't confirm it as a down. His up tilt usage seems lag, pretty important here. That's why you have to get those fastballs, but unfortunately not able to pan out the way that he hasn't used inhale like at all. Still has another chance at life, is not looking too savvy. I mean, Town of City, one of those stages where he can get a back here, is that going to be it? There it is. Once That's again. what he's been looking for, yeah. We saw that That's the money maker right there. Down air, down smash. And now it's a last box situation. This next game is going to be huge. This game potentially could decide the momentum. Yeah, exactly. I feel, I feel like if Asimo wins this game, it could Damn. be the end of the game. He's getting better right player now. right now. Really damage right there from Asimo after that parry. Here we go. The pressure on the ledge tries to win. And here we go. The first thing that Goku needed to follow up. Gets one. Can't follow that up. Oh, get no. The grip. Oh, no. Don't line. roll this in. Is this is what he does. Oh, my and God. He's out of that. He's crazy. That is so important for him. For the moment, it's over. And get the grip. And get ah! the take this shot. He just got the back air fucked after up. Electrifying. What mistakes did this guy make? He was at actual zero. No, he's at six. My bad. What, what air is it? Was got up tilted, mash air, and punished for it. I don't know if he could have escaped that little sequence right there. Protect in place. Got vibe checked with two down tilts. Rolled in because he's an ultimate player. Gets comboed for it. Out of that. He's crazy. And that gets a vibe check with the uh, ledge jump back air. Yeah, that was kind of raw. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he better player, the better player. He might be the better player. Over Osimo, one of the top eight favorites, and Gilhu making it look like quick work. Something look at that smile. Oh, look at that smile. Come on, guys. You don't want this guy to win. This guy, man. You know, Gilhu, Gilhu, one of the finest. I mean, we talked about how his rise the last two years has been meteoric into the top five in, in, in Mexico, which is crazy to think about. But so far, Osimo still looking calm and collected. You know, these guys can show it. You know that they're not going to get rattled by anything right here. One situation before we start, that, that, for that opening combo at the last spot, Osimo did the right DI and held out. Yeah. Because if you hold in, you get reverse up tilted. He got F tilted and still got comboed after that. Yeah, like Gohu was able to react quickly enough to catch him with that and yeah. up him to suck. And we saw him try to get the left arm on, the, on game one. He didn't catch it just yet, but he caught it on game three where it mattered the most. And now, as you mentioned, all the momentum is on his side. So he's going to want to capitalize there, but Asimo coming in front with this initial combo. Yeah, I mean, look, Snare upset his uh, Suzuki yesterday. Could we potentially see another Mexican upsetting a foreigner right here? Gohu looking to be another one of those and adding it to the statistics for this tournament. But right now, Asimo is looking to claw his way back and is looking prime to force us to a game five good opening stock so far. This guy is doing the Japanese matchup check to a Japanese player. Holy fuck, you're right. And he's owning him. <coughs> Personally, I would have just parry sure you could. Not enough to take the stock, but you've got the, um, the percentage lead right here, and we know how any well played area right here could be. I hope I never lose to a Kirby and Bracken, man. I'm going to be oh really upset goodness. if that fucking happens to me. Right I'm not going to lie. Understand the severity of the situation. Knows that he needs to get this first stock. Is this going to be a kill? No, again, it's the last round. It sucks because it's like pretty possible. Like, I don't think there is who, like. Situation right here where a loses to Kirby, that enough? It is but I think enough. it's Go really annoying. Is still looking prime and looking in a really good position right here. Osimo looking to create some magic. Uh, speaking of stages, by the way, this stage is actually really good for Osimo now because it's less stage and he's more, more, Kirby more in the corner as yeah, well. So. Where we've seen him thrive all throughout the set. Yeah. Did this dude just eat an entire fireball? Yeah, I'm surprised though. Gilhu was very content on letting him come back here. So. Uh, but right now, Gilhu trying to create some magic. Reverse up tilt right here again. 
67 great Dude, I try to go for combos like front. this with Kirby, and oh, I just yeah. can't do it. He's making it look like I effortless. Really like the fact that was just I guess I should just be mashing up to with Kirby. Of the fact that we haven't seen a ton of value. Ooh, yep, that is a combo. Dude, he's F tilt. Like his tilt game, he's just everything is correct. No punish on the. Okay. He's flexing. Kirby honestly looks like he does pretty well in this matchup. Multi hit forward air. Not too shabby. Big ass hitbox. We take those. Oh my god, no way, that's how you lose! <laughs> In a game four scenario, causing another crazy upset in this tournament so far. You know so it. You got sucking cucked. Oh my god. That's so fucking awesome. Like, Dude, like, somehow you just forget it's a thing. You forget it's a thing. You don't time your aerial correctly. You get sucked and then you get cucked and that's that. <laughs> awesome, dude. That's you know what? Respectable. <sighs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Stream tomorrow. You already know what it is.